we have spiritualized everything and culture tradition of the world has come in the rest of the west have come in african culture asian culture has come in and we have diluted what it means to be feminine if you or what it means to be masculine if you are a christian grounded in scripture if you are a disciple the the, 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 the the book of john tells us jesus was telling us that if my if you abide in my word that means if you obey my word if my word rules you then you are my disciple indeed and the next verse says and you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free many of we females cannot be feminine many men cannot be masculine why because of cultures tradition new new things technology have come in and and have have watered down what is what the bible says Femininity and masculinity originated from Jesus, originated from the scriptures. It's not some African slave trade. It's not some communities, village slave trade um, uh, 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 kind of policy or culture that arised. No, if you are grounded in the scripture, if you read through scripture and see the way God expected, Jesus expected, the female to behave, the male to behave, then you would understand what being masculine and being feminine is. I want to, to us to come into the point where whenever we're talking about a woman, you know, submission is defined in different cultures. In There's many definitions in different cultures. And um, I want to tell you, as long as your definition of submission is according to the information gotten from the, fa your, the, 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 the foundation of your father's house, it's according to the information gotten from an idol. It's according to the information gotten by a culture in the West, a tradition in the West, a culture in your village, a culture in Asia, a culture in Antarctica. Then it is not of Jesus. Submission, scriptural. It has no feelings. And I want to go. The scriptures have no feelings. They are facts. No feelings. And I, I want to, to say that if you have decided that you want to obey God, I've taught us repeatedly he said it is all about jesus all about growing the character of christ all about having the image of christ you know being revealed in us the, the, you know the glory of god being revealed the presence of god the anointing you can't talk about christianity without talking about anointing you can't talk about christianity and not talk about discipleship and not talk about the anointing the presence modern day culture or modern day tradition has made a lot of male and female you know, reject their identity, reject their purpose, reject their position in society according to God's plan. A lot of females have come across. Whenever we tell a lady, oh, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to be to a man. This is how you need to be a man. The first thing that always comes out of a lady's mouth is men are this, men are that, men are this. A man will do this, a man will do that. And one thing I always say is, why are you only looking at the negative? Point number one. Second thing that I always ask. Did you choose the man rightly? Because it's a choice you're making. Third thing I always ask. Are you feminine? Fourth thing I always ask. Do you know what the man wants? Many of we females don't know what a man needs. We only know what we can give the man. And that is why many relationships don't work. We women are only focusing on cooking, giving the man, helping the man, supporting the man. We have never gotten to ask the man, man, what do you want? Remember, he's the man that marries the woman. When it comes to being feminine, femininity has a lot to do with the way you carry yourself. Femininity has a lot to do with Submit submission. So we need to break it out to every lady who is listening to me. No matter the kind of man that you have, as long as that man is your head, you've married that man. You are an employee to that man. That man is your boss. We can say whatever we want to say. Though, or, or why are you saying that I am an employee to a man? Yes, the man has employed you. Whether we like it or not, there are many females today, if they had the opportunity of not working they, for the rest of their lives and just being taken care of and taking care of your home, they will do it. 
What disturbs me? I hate when females whine. When we females, we feel that we are being deprived of your rights. When all the rights have been given to us. And we have one right that men don't have. We have a right to make a man a father even though he doesn't want to be a father. We have a right to say it is my body and I'm keeping the child. The man has nothing to say about it. But we force a man to pay child support. That is a right. So there's no right that a man has that a woman doesn't have. So when it comes to being feminine, I would love to, I'd like to break it to you. Your ogre, your, your man, your husband is your boss. You are an employee. You work for him. You make babies for him. You eat, you clean, you nurture the family for him. The scriptura. In our modern day, when things have become so tough, you find females now working to support. Let your support not be because you're trying to challenge masculine energy or the masculine figure above your head or the masculine authority above you. You will only hurt yourself. You will suffer. Let your working or earning finances not be because you're trying to prove a point or because you're trying to expose the fact that your, your husband or the masculine figure over you is not able to provide. And I'm telling you, we women will never, never accept this. If we have an opportunity where we will never work a day in our life, where we will just get up and go to work or have a business and sell when we want to have extra money, we will choose that. Not working and having to get up and go to work whenever we want or not working at all, I've been taken care of and being a stay-at-home mom, we will choose that than going to work. When we are talking about submission, your husband is your boss, your leader, your captain. You chose him. Being feminine is the way you talk. Carry wisdom. The way you treat your female friends, your father, your brothers, your boss will be the same way you will treat a man who will come into your life. The way you talk to your brothers, the way you talk to your male cousins, the male figures in your life shows if you are feminine to a certain extent. Like a lady, don't sit with your legs apart, even though you're wearing long clothing. It's like to put your one, sit like the way the, the, the Queen of England sits if you can't cross your legs. Because in some cultures, it's a taboo to cross your legs. It's like to control your temper, even when you're annoyed. Like to groom yourself. Something like in the way you laugh. The clothing you wear. There are particular clothing that are very, very feminine for women. Skirts and, and dresses. You don't need to wear all the whole makeup and wear big jewelry. Just be groomed. Be well trimmed. Let your hair, your skin be so, so perfect. Your skin. Even after you have given birth, even as you are growing, be fit for the man. No man wants a woman who is sluggish in bed. Who cannot lift up herself. Who is not flexible for him. All of this comes under being feminine. As a female, you can use your feminine energy to collect anything you want from a man. Anything you want from the man, you can use, but you must massage, you must massage his ego and his mas masculinity. You must massage it. You must massage it well. Use your feminine energy to get whatever you want. You can be a stay-at-home man and you're a, a, a woman taking care of the man's home and the man is working. Taking care of you, not because you cannot work or you are not educated. It's just because you have put the man on his platform. It is a king that makes you a queen. This is scriptural. I'm not talking about modern day, uh, modern thinking of uh, this thing or tradition. I'm talking about scriptural, scriptural from femininity and masculinity, biblical femininity and masculinity. Except your king has sat on his throne, you can never be a queen. Except you use your feminine energy to lift up your king and put him on the throne. You cannot wear a crown. And what does it mean for a woman to wear a crown? 
This is when people start saying you have used charm. When a man cheats you like you are the only thing that matters in his life. When he will kill for you, die for you. When he will go out carrying sand. When he will go out fighting your enemies just that you are safe, just that you can eat. 